Hey guys, so I was just down in Calgary a little while ago visiting my friends and one of my best friends asked me um, how to make yakisoba so this video is dedicated to you Marvin um, except whenever I make yakisoba I always use udon noodles so this is actually going to be yaki udon um, and yeah I'm also going to include a link to another video where I'm going to make um, yakisoba on a hot dog kind of like the japa dogs that you see in Vancouver so yeah, if you guys are interested just keep on watching So for the yakisoba sauce, you can either make it yourself, which I'll show you how to do it, or you can go to um, your local Asian store like TNT and buy a yakisoba sauce. Um, I just went today and I bought this to see if the sauce that I made actually tastes similar, and um, it does. So what you need is two tablespoons of soy sauce, uh, two and a half tablespoons of Worcestershire, half a tablespoon of sugar, half a teaspoon of midden, um, half a tablespoon of sake and I added actually um, half a teaspoon of beef stock mix and some hot chili oil and this um, you don't really need to add this I added um, two tablespoons of this to kind of make the sauce a little bit milder if you don't have this you don't need to add it the Worcestershire is pretty much the main flavor so Actually, you know what, add this. It makes it um, a little bit milder and it tastes a lot better. So that is what we need for the sauce. And it should come out like this. So the first thing you want to do is just cook your chicken. I initially wanted to use pork, but when I went to TNT, they didn't have any of the sliced ones that I usually use for shabu shabu, so I didn't want to buy a huge chunk of pork, so I'm just using chicken. You can use whatever um, meat you like. So I just took off the chicken, and now I'm just going to add in some onions. Oh, and I forgot to say, um, add uh, white pepper and salt to the chicken as seasoning, and you can just do the same with the other vegetables. Now just add the garlic, and the mushrooms. And just cook until the vegetables are tender. So I'm just going to add in the bean sprouts. And I'm going to add in the noodles, which I already um, pre-cooked. Now you can use any kind of noodles you like, um, either udon or the yakisoba noodles. And then just pour, oops, pour the chicken. You probably didn't need all that sauce, but um, just cook it a little bit more and it should be ready to eat. Okay guys, so this is what it looks like after it's been cooked. Um, just as a note, um, the sauce that I made and what I showed you wasn't the actual amount. I've already used it for um, another dish. Also, um, I was watching TV, so please do not add all of that sauce. All you need is just um, a little bit just to flavor it. Please do not add all of the sauce. And so just to finish this dish, all we need is some... Now you can add mayo if you like. Um, you can add Japanese mayo. Oh dear god. Mm. 
and then all you need is some aonori and some katsu just in the middle some nori some green onions and some benishoga and that is how I make yakisoba Oopsie. So, leave a comment, guys, and tell me how you like this dish. Um, obviously, you can use the um, prepackaged yakisoba seasoning, but um, I kind of like trying to make my own sauce. So, tell me how you like this sauce, and yeah, just leave a comment. All right, official taste tester, please, please taste this. Once again, great. Is it is this yaki udon good enough to take to work? I'd take it anywhere. Very good. Oh, Bye. also, um, you shouldn't leave up your chicken out. It's bad.